Good afternoon, and welcome to the thrilling conclusion of the Narragansett Trail. I'm here off Tom Wheeler Road. If you were through hiking, it would have been a one and a half mile road walk to this nondescript trailhead. And we're going to hike towards the Green Fall Pond area and the Rhode Island border. After about 1.3 miles, we come to what I think is a connection to Sand Hill Road. It's something like two tenths of a mile before we hop back on the trail. We turn off the road, get our first shot of Greenfall River. This is marked as a sluice cairn on the trail map. And this appears to be the foundation for a road. And I think somewhere down in here is an old mill site. Now, those three combine our little manufacturing history, although I haven't uh, found what the mill type was and why they have a cairn for the sluice is a little interesting. Normally I think of a sluice way, which is a raceway for the water, but why there would be a cairn, I'm not quite sure. This is very cool. This is the Greenfall Gorge. Freshly constructed bridge. This gorge or ravine is fantastic. Definitely recommend coming here for this. And we get a view of the spillway falls coming off of Greenfall Pond. Climb up and onto the dam and get our first view of the Greenfall Pond. Making our way along the edge of the pond and we're following the orange and blue blazes that are the loop around the pond and the regular blue blaze for the Narragansett Trail.
Thanks, Baron. Turning off the pond loop now and back on to just the Narragansett. Great little cascade through here. Come down this unblazed side path and we reach the Peg Mill Shelter, one of four overnight shelters in Patchogue State Forest and the second one on the Narragansett Trail. It's pretty nice. Good size. It's in memory of Jeannie King, who was a longtime supporter of Connecticut Trails, and that was dedicated in March 2011. We've got a couple of inflatable tubes, some canisters, perhaps the very remains of some vodka. A knife. Nice quiet little spot. And I'm guessing the name refers to what must be the remains of Peg Mill, which unfortunately I didn't even think to look up the history. but thankfully we can at least see some of the remains of. We're actually walking on top of that the past couple hundred feet and it comes out right here. How cool is that? It goes down to join these other cascades and it looks like maybe there's some more, yes, some more foundations, even with the boreholes, got some foundations mixed in among the growth here. Now the Narragansett heads off in this direction. But I'm told there's a cave along this side of the water. We seem to have hit the end of explorable area here. And I have yet to see a cave. There is a fire pit way out here. So hopefully we'll see something on the return trip. I don't know. Perhaps it's Somewhere down here. Yep, looks like it. Even a little bird's nest. can fit pretty easily and even get yeah, close to standing up straight. Turned out to be too tight to squeeze around that corner there, but Glad I found it. Nice little jumble of boulders. All right, so we are hitting our connection with the 
Tippecansett Trail, which heads up towards Beach Pond. And we are going to continue along the blue and yellow blazed trail, which means that we are directly on the border between Connecticut and Rhode Island. This area is known as Dinosaur Cliffs. Underneath the cliffs, you do get this dinosaur cave. Though, like most others in Connecticut, it's really just a very large overhang. Unless there's another one that I'm missing somewhere here in this jumble, but I think this is it. This may be what's known as Dinosaur Cave. And after following the border for a ways, we come out onto the road, and that is the Narragansett Trail complete. We do get the Connecticut-Rhode Island border marker as a nice little bonus. Trails do continue off into Rhode Island on the yellow blazes maintained by the Appalachian Mountain Club and all the trails around the Yagoog Boy Scout camp, of which uh, I think all this land is owned by them. So to sum up the Narragansett Trail, it's been uh, fantastic. Hiking uh, all the sections have felt like hidden gems. It's unfortunate about the two trail closures along the way, but I do hear whispers of a major trail reroute in the works, so Hopefully we'll see that soon. And uh, there are a number of nice overlooks and the trail touches on some history at Lantern Hill, the Bear Den Cave, and uh, the mill sites that we passed today. So thank you for joining me on the Narragansett Trail. All that's left is to stitch all of these movies together. And if you've been following these over the past three years you'll remember that this is the only time where one is not raining when I'm heading back and it's not so close to sunset that I have to rush all right I'll see you next time